Hello all of you, my name is Maria Konzielska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. Do you know how porcelain is made, how it is created, designed, then later on how it goes through the whole process to end up in the store? Here with us is Marek Cetua, an artist but also a designer of porcelain. Thank you very much for showing this all to us. We are in the Chmielow factory in Poland, one of the oldest uh, factories of porcelain, which is still existing and still producing every day cups, plates and many other things. Uh, please tell us from like how it guide us through the whole process of creating the porcelain. How does it start? Well, as we know it, porcelain comes from China. It is really ancient material, was really discovered there many, many years ago. It was very precious in 17th, 18th century when it's come to Europe and became very precious material, not very noble, and many, not many people could afford it. So it was uh, kings and uh, <laughs> princes used it porcelain only at, at, at their palaces and not at home. But in the end of 18th century, in, uh, somewhere in the middle of 18th century, this the European porcelain was discovered in Mason in Germany uh, and uh, actually from that time many little factories start to happen in Europe in England and Austria and in France Limoges and uh, Wedgwood in, in, in England so the porcelain start to get popular already more and more for the masses not only for the aristocratic people because could afford it so it was cheaper so the porcelain becoming much more available for the industry. No, well, so industries happen in most of the countries uh, open their own factories. And in Poland, in 230 years ago, uh, the first porcelain factory became to Smielów. In porcelain, actually, it is material made it from three components uh, mixed together. And these uh, components are uh, well mixed for a long time and it's uh, edged in the, in, the, in the basement for a long time also, but it became really uh, very appropriate material because it uh, really have to have certain quality. So then after porcelain is mixed into this powder, then it is uh, added water to it and it's recycled and it's pressed into the clay, so-called. We have two different clay in, in the porcelain in the factory. Uh, plastic porcelain, which is like a clay, uh, solid, and then liquid porcelain, which is used mostly for the casting in plaster molds. The solid porcelain is made for actually uh, doing pressing plates and cups. Actually, it's not slip casting, but pressed by, by a, a process machine, which is pressing the clay into the mold and it's becoming a, a, a dry form, which is drying. Then it's going to the first fire, which is called biscuit. First fire going to, let's say, 1,100 degree, very slow fire, a very long one, and porcelain became harder. It's not yet all the way fire to the end. It's only fired, so it's absorbed the water. Actually, it's very dry. It was made specially so we can actually glaze this, this porcelain. And uh, this porcelain is glazed by dipping uh, the object in the liquid glaze, and it's immediately drying. And then it's clean up the bottom of the, of the plate. And then it's going to the kiln, which is called the, the high fire uh, kiln. There, its porcelain is fired already to 1,400 degree. And it became totally un unchangeable material, very hard and very resistible. So this is the process generally uh, with the factory. Then, of course, this white uh, porcelain, which is fired to this uh, temperature, is becoming now going to the decoration. There is a department of decoration <coughs> where actually ladies sitting and decorating, painting gold, putting decal on it, and it became decorative uh, object. But also we make white porcelain also, clean and very modern uh, best without decoration. So there is a variety of different products. And factory usually using the old models uh, for many, 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 many years, changing decoration. So m not many times the changing the fashion of the the shape of the form, but changing the decoration. And it's really a successful changing of decoration, changing the object quite drastically, and it's becoming almost like a new, different, different object. But basically, this is the process where there is a material process of making the object, firing, 
and decorating it, and then it's going to the store and for the people's home. And with, with you, with your, um, I would say, the artistic part of it, when there is a part of design and a handmade. So where is this process of handmading? Are you personally pouring the porcelain to the, um, to the shape? Or yes. how, it, how does it go? Well, we, first of all, we, have it not, we don't have this mechanized system here. Everything is handmade, either slip casting or handmade by pressing in the mold. So this is the first part. Then there is a handle to be attached. Then we're changing and cleaning up all the, all the sections. Then we're painting and decorating. There's a lot of aspect of hand process in the studio, much more than in the factory. And also, we're also treating this porcelain that way, that it's uh, more crafted, actually. Not, uh, there is less quantity, so we don't have to uh, do duplication, many, 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 many the same forms. We can change it from one color to another color. That's why we have it here, many different colors, because possibilities. We ex we're experimenting and changing the process, this industrial process, making it a little bit more crafty, more handmade, more unique and more uh, less in quantities, but more in the kind of different look from conventional porcelain. So, so basically there are two aspects. One is a, which is seeking perfection, and here which you are seeking That's more right. artistic experience right. and uniqueness. That's right. Many times we leave fingerprints and leaving the process of... So people like to see some kind of a quality of, of imperfection, which is we having. You know. In fact, many times we're taking industrial product, which is made in the factory, and just doing something, changing it, deformating it even more, and making that unique. So it is a kind of a creative process all the time in the studio, how to um, using this material, using this porcelain to create more original work. And if you could tell us about um, your I would say the biggest success of which design would be. Like, because I see in the shapes that you are, for example, using forms of Japanese forms or from, from this time. It's, the, it's various. You know, it's uh, simply the creativity is really unlimited sources of, of possibilities. Ceramic is very fantastic material because we can use it in many different ways. We can create many different shapes. It's a really very comfortable material to be actually improvised and, and doing something uh, different all the time. So it is a uh, very creative um, process and very creative material, in fact. And we're using that very much and we're changing very fast from one line to the other. That's why this studio is producing many different products because it's not have to produce something for thousands and thousands and thousands of pieces, but we're making 100 or 60. Sometimes we're making limited addition even work, uh, which is make this work even more unique and original. And this studio is really well uh, equipped. We have it, everything what we need here. We're also having here educational processes, students coming here sometime, artists in residency, which is we're having, they're coming also here to produce work. So with this, this, this quality of that studio and the potential of the studio, it's also is given to the rest of the creative people to come here and utilize it and participate with us in creation of new designs. If you are seeking for a unique piece of porcelain to use at home or something which only you would like to have at home, definitely Chmielov factory with Marek Tsutsua in charge is a place to seek for it. Maybe you can even ask them to design your own personal porcelain plate or a cup which only you will use, the only one in the world. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.